Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 945. Hey, if you want to download the sortbook 944 to 945, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, I had a student in my class ask how to import data from other Excel workbooks. Here's the steps, and here's one of the important keyboard shortcuts we're going to use. I'm going to come over here to day one. Now, the way I usually do it is I go over to Windows Explorer and I open the file and Alt asterisk on the number pad to highlight the whole data set, Control C, Alt Tab, and then Control V, right? This student says, I don't want to have to dig for those files and find them, open them, and do that. So is there a way inside of Excel to import data from another Excel workbook? Now I'm going to Control Z. There is, but you're still going to have to dig through the dialog box to get to that file. So here we are on day one. We go to Data. Now there's Get External Data. I'm going to click on the Existing Connections. Then I'm going to come down here to Browse for More. And then I can navigate anywhere on my computer and then import something. Now let me show you something about this uh, Get External Data. That one we clicked and we had to click that other button. You can click from Text. And as long as you, this is a similar, you know, go get your files. As long as you come over here to this text and click the all, you could do it that way too, and then you can go to any file you want. Also from access, that opens up a similar, but the default is looking for access, so you'd have to change it to all files. So whichever one you like better. Now I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, because if you really do this day in and day out, keyboard shortcuts rock. Now what happens when I hit the alt key? Look up here. Alt. A shows up. That means if you hit A, you get to the data ribbon. So A, and then for access, it would be FA. But look at this, existing connections. It's only an X, so that's why I like that one. I hit X. Now, let me explain something about Alt keyboard shortcuts. And if you go back over here, notice the way you write. Uh, to communicate how a keyboard shortcut works as you go alt comma a comma x that means you hit those keys in succession control c would be control plus c but watch this i put a plus here because when you get to the dialog box you actually have to hold alt and b together so that's how to communicate in a written form an alt keyboard shortcut so now let's go over here and try that again alt I'd hit it, now I let go of it. Now I'm going to hit the A in succession. Boom. I'm not holding any key. Now I'm going to hit X. Whoops, I hit the wrong key. So Escape, A. Let me do that. Alt, A, and then X. Now when you get to the dialog box, there's these little underlines right here. That means you have to hold the Alt and then click the B. So Alt, B. Now one more thing about that. If you really are going to use that a lot, then just hold the Alt down and go AXB. All right. So even though we communicate with written form, I clicked on it again, the Alts this way, and they work in succession, if you have a plus at the end, at least for me, I'm like I always forget when to hold plus and when to just hit it in succession. So I just hold Alt the whole way. Alt A, whoops. Alt A X B. And then I'm going to go to the desktop. And then I'm going to go to data set, to, data, uh, set 2. Now I'm going to click on the data 1 sheet because I'm on uh, day 1 and click OK. Now, one annoying thing about um, importing data is it's going to import it as a table. Now most of the time that's a benefit. I'm going to click OK. It means it that is a table. It's dynamic. If you increase or decrease it, your formulas and charts will update. But there it is, data 1. Now I'm going to come over here, Alt A X B, navigate to the desktop, and then I get my data 2, click OK, click OK. All right, so that's how to import data using the data ribbon, get external uh, data. All right, see you next trick.